Go outside and see if we can find some meteorites. So here we have the gutter that comes down off the roof of my house and empties out to right here along the ground. And so you take a magnet and you search all the little nooks and crannies uh, that are nearby where uh, this dirt and debris uh, might pool uh, here on the ground and you get rid of the obvious organics. Uh, and uh, uh, then what you do is you search through this magnetic debris uh, and uh, uh, get out uh, you know, a, a pair of tweezers and we can begin to sort through uh, and find uh, and separate the uh, uh, you know, modern uh, building materials from you know, putting screws into buildings uh, and try to get down to uh, the pieces that actually might be uh, meteorites that have uh, come through the atmosphere and show a little bit of fusion crust. Um, it doesn't look like any of the natural, quote unquote, natural stone that is used in the construction. I don't see quite enough crusting on it to be confident it's a meteorite, but I don't have any other, you know, better explanation at the moment. But we really need to sit down with a, a microscope to, to study it in more detail. So in a microscope, you're gonna be looking for the details of the fusion crust, where you can see evidence of uh, the fiery reentry as it got ablated to becoming smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. They all still have that same visual appearance because they were still, you know, you know speeding through the atmosphere at you know, 30,000 miles an hour or so. Think about a, an asteroid, for example, that killed the dinosaurs, you know, 65 million years ago. You know, that was you know, the size of Manhattan or so. You know, those are very rare. They're only about every hundred million years or so. In fact, if we get down to the size of a marble, it's actually uh, demonstrated that there's about one of those to pick up about every square kilometer across the surface of the Earth. And the only reason you don't find them very, very often is because they're intermixed with other rocks and or they dissolve away with rain, get buried by vegetation, uh, that sort of thing. But they are there usually. Once you get down to the size of a grain of rice, they are incredibly common. And so there is, uh, you know, the shooting stars that you see at night are fairly large rocks when they enter the upper atmosphere, but they probably become, you know, uh, individual or a scattering of grains of rice that land on everybody's rooftops. And so if you've had a roof that's been, you know, on your house for 10 years or more, uh, it's probably accumulated, you know, quite a number of meteorites uh, that have then washed generally off the surface of your roof go down your gutters. But usually if you get it under a microscope, you can kind of discern, you know, which is man-made, modern, and uh, which had a fiery reentry through space.